Hey, welcome back to another video. This one is going to kind of more in-depth explain layers in Photoshop when you're creating a flash ambient composite. There's a lot of confusion as to what the layers actually do and which layers are you merging into which ones. So I'm going to start off this explanation with just something really, really simple. So only two images. So you have one picture where I'm here on the right and another picture where I'm here on the left. So this won't be perfect, but it's a good um, opportunity to briefly explain uh, editing in Photoshop. So we're gonna uh, highlight both of them. We make sure that each one has our lens profile corrections so that they're as aligned as possible. Also making sure that they're not um, transformed at all or uh, leveled. So we're gonna right click when both of them are selected and open as layers in Photoshop. So both of these are now in Photoshop and remember we always have to auto align the layers before we start doing anything. I have an action set up so I can just press F3, but I'm gonna to go to select all layers, edit, and auto align layers. It'll bring up this dialog box. You can just leave it at auto and hit okay. Now our layers are aligned. So what the heck do you do with these two layers? So in my previous video, there were something like, I don't know, eight layers that I ended up mixing together to get a final result. But someone commented on, um, I, I posted it on Reddit, and there was still some confusion with, you know, how do you even get started knowing which layers to merge into which, and what exactly are you doing? And that took me quite a long time to figure out too. So I'm hoping that I can have a fairly simple explanation just using these two images. So there's me on the right, there's me on the left. So what I want to do is merge these two pictures together, but I don't want to be visible in either of them. So the first step is to make sure you have your brush selected and when you have the top layer selected you're going to alt click on this little camera button i think it is or it's a, a layer basically what you're doing is you're creating a, a layer mask hide if you're on a pc you hold alt and then click and it brings this up um, so you can't see this layer you can only see the layer underneath it and what you're doing is you're choosing which part of the um the layer to keep to blend with the layer underneath it so with just these two images in this example, I'm going to make sure that my colors are default and you can press X to swap between them. That's pressing X to subtract or add. So I'm going to take me away and I'm just in normal mode. That's good enough for now. And I'm going to bring my flow up just a little bit higher. So it's a little bit quicker. So I'm taking me away, right? It keeps all the information on the left side, but then it hides me on the right. So I'm just going to change all of this, make sure this goes away because we want to keep it as pleasing as possible. And then bring that on that side and keep some of the shadows. So both of these being blended together, you can see the final result. So if we turn this off, there I am on that one. But because we took the information from the bottom layer, and put it into here using this layer mask hide. Now it takes away the parts that we don't want from each image. So obviously you would want more images in here so you wouldn't have such harsh shadows and all that. But this is a good enough explanation for what you're doing with those layers. You're taking each part that you want from each image and then using a layer mask hide, again hitting alt click on your layer to decide what you wanna keep and decide what you wanna take away. So now we're just gonna merge those together and that's the finished product. And again, we can hit Control S and Control W to save it, which brings it back into Lightroom as the finished product. And then we'll hit our finishing touches, which aligns everything. And then adds a little bit of exposure, texture clarity, takes a little bit of dehaze away, a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of saturation. And then if we want to, we can create a new mask with exposure and just bring up the brightness here in the back. And we can even bump this up just a little bit. So I wouldn't deliver this to a client without maybe another shot to get rid of these harsh shadows on the side. But this is pretty darn good using just two images, um, two flash images left and right. Um, a lot of people just like doing all the editing in Lightroom itself. When you want to have a lot of control, you want to be able to take the specific parts from each image and then transform them into another image and then merge them together. I hope this helped explain a little bit more about merging the layers together. 
in Photoshop when creating a flash ambient shot. Again, you just want to have as much control as possible. So when you're looking at this image and this image, you want to take the right side of this image and the left side of this image, and then you put them together into one picture, and then you keep going. Well, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it all works out.